Welcome back for part three of Capturing the Sky brought to you by Photographer Overnight. Today I'm going to show you a few methods of bringing back a sky or adding a sky using Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom and then how to add a sky in Photoshop. The first method is a really simple gradient I'm going to show you in Adobe Camera Raw which is the free program that comes with Photoshop for editing your raw files. But you can do the exact same thing using Lightroom. So you open up your raw file in the program and then click the gradient tool here. Then we're going to change the color to blue and hit OK. And then we're going to drop the exposure so we can see the change on this really bright sky. And I'm also going to increase the saturation so it's a little more blue. And then we just drag the gradient from the top. And you can adjust the top and bottom of the gradient until it's how you like it. And I don't really like the blue that this color is showing here, so you can change the color by clicking this box. And we'll get more of a purpley blue and hit OK. And then we'll unclick Show Overlay so we can see the change we've made on our picture. And to see the before and after, you just click this check mark for the preview. Now some of the color is dropping onto her forehead here, so we'll show the overlay again and we'll bring this up a little higher so it doesn't drop so much. And that's when Photoshop comes in handy because you can just mask out that part of the sky that's touching her head. So that's a really easy way to add some color to your sky if it's overexposed. The next method I'm going to show you is done by exposing your original picture for the sky rather than your subject, so you can bring back the exposure of your subject in your editing. So here's my original picture with a nice stormy looking sky, but my subject is darker than I want her. So first we're going to bring the fill light up. And what this does is brighten the shadowy areas of the picture without making the bright areas any brighter. Then we'll warm it up a little using our temperature slider here, because whenever you're shooting under cloud cover with your subject in the shade, your picture will have blue tones to it, and I talk more about getting a perfect white balance in the Photographer Overnight program you can find on my site at photographerovernight.com. Then the last thing I do is increase the vibrance to bring out the colors. And that's it! You can check the before and after of what we've done here. And that's one of my favorite ways to capture a sky and then just brighten up my subject later because it's so quick and easy. Now on some pictures that last strategy doesn't work because your sky happens to be a shadowy area too. So when you use the fill light, you're actually brightening the sky as well. In this case, I brighten up my subject how I want her, and then I will save two images from this raw file. One with my bright subject, and one with my original dark sky. Then I overlap the two pictures in Photoshop. So you'll make your changes, and then you'll save your image here. And then I save it as a JPEG, and hit save. And then to go back to your original picture, just click Camera Raw Defaults. You'll have your original sky back. And then I like to make changes to the original sky as well by bringing back the blue and increasing the vibrance. And then you hit Save Image here. I'll call this one Original. And hit Save. And then I'm going to show you how to overlap these two images in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my picture where I've brightened up my subject and then I'm going to take the original picture and drag it on top as a layer above my other picture. Then in CS5 you'll need to hit enter to get rid of this transformation box. So now if you hit this eyeball tool here you can see my layer underneath of my brightened subject and then my picture above with my dark sky. You can just turn on and off the layers using this eyeball tool. So now what I'm going to do is create a mask to mask out the areas on this layer that I want to show through underneath. So I'll create a layer mask right here where it says add a layer mask when you mouse over. And then I'm going to fill in the mask where I want to remove the layer above so I can have the layer below show through underneath. So everywhere I paint on this mask in black, 
we're going to remove the layer. So we'll get a brush, and if you hit D on your keyboard, you'll go back to the default colors black and white. And I'm going to increase the size of my brush. And I like the hardness to be around here so we can get a nice crisp edge. And then you just start painting over your subject where you want her to show through. And you have to be really careful around the edges on a picture like this because one layer is going to be really bright and the other layer is going to be really dark. So we just get a smaller brush to go around the edges and then clean up the picture how we want it. Now the glory of a mask is that you can undo small areas of what you've done just by switching your brush to white. And masking back over those areas. And in a picture like this, it's really easy to get these halos, so you need to be really careful and painstakingly go around the edges to make them perfect. The other thing you can do is use the lasso tool here and then just carefully go around the edge of your subject. And just remember to always fill in with black the layer you want to see underneath and fill in with white where you want to see this layer above where we have our sky. So you right click here, fill, foreground color black, and then control D will deselect. And when you're all done, you can tone down the effects of your layer on top by making it more transparent by decreasing the opacity here. And then you don't see so much of a harsh line around your subject. So that's a more time consuming method of getting the sky that also works. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more free video tips by Photographer Overnight.